So here is the TDO Live Chat tutorial for beginners. TDO Live Chat is a customer service platform that offers real-time support and engagement with customers. It includes a mobile app, chat bots, and a shared inbox. So first of all, head over to TDO.com and let's check out their pricing. On this page, you will get to see all the plans that they offer. They have Starter, Growth, Plus, and Premium. And you can see all the features that each of these plans offer right below them. On the top right, you have Start for Free and Contact Sales. Let's click on Start for Free. After that, you will need to put in your details to create a free account, such as your email address and password. You can also log in with Facebook. For now, I will go ahead and type in my email address. And a good thing about TDO is that no credit card is required in order to create an account. So once done, let's put in a password. After that, you need to put in your website URL. As you can see, this part is required. For now, I will just put in a random website URL. Then click on Get Started for Free. After that, just give it a while and your TDO account will be created. Sometimes it may take a little while be patient and wait it out. And once you're on the next page, you will need to answer some questions, starting with what's your name. For here, type in your name. Then select which department do you work in. You can see some options to choose from or select other. For now, I will select IT and technical. Then which tools or channels do you currently use to connect with your customers? Select the relevant ones from the options available. Once done, Click on Next. And on the next page, you need to select what is your primary business model. Here, select the relevant option and then choose what is your company's industry. Scroll through the drop down over here and go through the options to select whichever one is applicable. And select how many customer conversations does your company handle per month. Then click Next and select how many visitors does your website attract each month. After that, select what platform powers your website. Choose the correct one and select how many customer support agents do you have in your current setup. After that, click Next. Now, you need to select My main goal for using TDO is and you have some options to choose from. I will select Increase Sales. Then, how would you like to interact with your customers? Choose one like email or website. And once you're done, click on Let's Go. After that, your TDO account will be created. Just give it some time to load up. And as you can see, your 7-day full-featured trial just got started. So here, click on Let's Go. As you can see, we're in the main page of TDO.com. Here, you will get to see your first steps, such as install TDO on your website, review your welcome messages, reduce abandoned cards with flows, engage with live visitors. Go through these options to get started. And here on the top left corner, you have Dashboard. Let's click on Dashboard and here you can see some options like Quick Actions. You have options like Live Conversations, Tickets, Lyro AI Chatbot, Flows, and Live Visitors. Right below it, you have the Performance section where you can see the overview of your performance. And on the right panel, you have your project status. And right below it, you have your current usage. This is where you can see how much of your resources you have used up. And here on the main screen, you have the option to start generating more leads. Click on Add Lead Generation Flow. After that, you will be taken to this page right here. You will get to see all the functions of leads flows that you can learn more about. You can also look through sections like Gather, Nurture, and Qualify. So go through these sections and learn more about anyone that you want. And on the left side, you have more options under Flows to learn more about different aspects of Flows. Now, let's click on Inbox on the left panel. Here, we'll get to see all your active conversations. And right under Inbox, you have options to filter through like Unassigned, My Open, and Soft. And you can simulate a conversation from here. You can also integrate TDO with other apps to keep everything in one place. And as you can see, they have the popular messaging apps that you can choose from. Now, let's head over to Tickets. This is where you can see all of your tickets in one place. 
You can also filter through different statuses. After that, we have views. Under views, you have different subjects such as products. You can also click on the three dots to edit or delete the section. Then you have order status, order issues, shipping policy, messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. And after this section, you have spam. All the spam messages will be visible in this section. Next up, we have Flyro. This is the AI assistant which will have the conversations with customers. Click on Setup Lyro. Here, click on Setup Lyro AI Chatbot. On this section, put in the details and provide website URL to import knowledge. Select How to Import Knowledge, then provide URL and click on Import Knowledge. Doing this, Lyro AI Chatbot will have more knowledge about your website and can easily help customers with anything related to your website. So here, if you go over to the knowledge section, you can check out data sources and suggestions. We have Playground. This is where you can play around with Lyro to check it out. As you can see, all of these sections require you to add knowledge to Lyro. Then we have Tasks. You can create a task from scratch or explore templates. So let's select Explore Templates. And this is where you can see different templates that you can use from. For example, return policy. So click on use template. On this page, you can visually view the structure of the template. Here, just select whichever one that you want and you can view the message right here. You can also customize it if you want. So let's say I want to remove this section. Just select it and press backspace or delete. You can also click on this plus icon to add a text, image, or file. This way, you can customize all of these sections. You can also delete certain sections and also drag them to connect with one another. Just click and drag the line and move it to the one that you want to connect with. This way, customize it according to your preference and once done, you will notice that it's been saved as draft. You can also click on test it out. But before testing, you need to make sure that it is optimized and correctly formed. Now, let's close this and check out the configure section. Here under channels, you can set where the live chatbot will be visible to your customers. Just enable or disable whichever one that you want. You can also configure the languages from here. Now scroll up to the top and check out personality. Go through these options to set the personality for your chatbot. And on handoff, you can set how Lyro will behave on chat when a visitor asks for operator help. Then you have handoff audiences to set the criteria, which will redirect customers to human operators. So go through these options and set the criteria according to your preference. Once done, click on Save Audiences. Lastly, we have Analytics. This is where you can view your analytics like resolution rate, answer rate, and transfer to operator. So if you scroll through this page, you will get to see all of this information in detail. So this way, you can use TDO Live Chat in order to help your customers more effectively and make your workflow so much more easier. And that is the TDO Live Chat tutorial for beginners.